Uh, what's up, guys? This is Playtest IRL here. Uh, I took a go. Uh, I was on my team for our Team Arcane, of course. Let's go. So uh, I was the fool. So oh, for the team. So, yeah, that was awesome. That's my uh, stuff. Unfortunately, Arcane is not a archetype in Goat. So yeah, whatever. Uh, so I took a pretty spicy list. I decided to take Chaos Control, but yeah. I took my own blend of it. Yeah. I I, I basically applied fundamentals uh, from Edison uh, onto this format. Yeah. Uh, because there's draw power, uh, pot of greed, chaos of charity, and that. So. The Trinity. The Trinity. So uh, let's just start it off. I play three giant germs. Whoa. So why do I play giant germs? Well, I'm I'm going to an event where time and, and time is a thing. Yeah. Giant germ does a lot of things. Where if it gets destroyed by battle, it gets two more from the deck. So you get free tribute fodder, mm -hmm. and you burn your opponent's life point by 500. So Does that, it have to be destroyed by battle to yes, burn? Yes, destroyed by battle. Yes. Okay. It's a dark monster, and they're all fiends. So, uh, to pair that off, I play the Dark Necrofear. Oh my god. So Dark Necrofear is an inherent special summon that uh, that is not as Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, this could technically be a, a third Chaos Sorcerer, but I wanted to go for style points and decided Skull. to go with Dark Necro Necrofear. Nice. Uh, I, I never used her effect once, but the effect is if it gets destroyed by opponent's card effect, at the end of turn, it puts itself in the spell and trap zone, mm -hmm. and then you snatch steal a monster. Ooh. But you do at the end of turn. So really nice stats of 2800 defense, 2200 defense. It's pretty big. So that's what you can do. Uh, to pair the, the Fiend off, I play the Infernal Archery. What uh, is this thing? So this card is uh, actually a sleeper pick. Um, what it does is uh, you pay 500 every, uh, every one of your standby phase. Mm -hmm. Whenever this card gets targeted on resolution, so after the chain resolves, you roll a dice. If you roll a two or five, you negate and destroy whatever target. Ooh. So it has a really passive effect where it, you can get, generate plus ones or plus twos depending on the situation. Yeah. And every standby phase, in, uh, including your opponent's uh, and yours, mm -hmm. you get to choose an Archfiend monster and it gets a thousand attack. Wow. So this becomes a 1900 attack that they can't target or they risk tar if they risk targeting it, I can destroy it. So in the tournament, people were activating Chaos Sorcerer, yeah. targeting her, I'll roll a dice. And if I roll a two or five, it destroys the Chaos Sorcerer and negates it. Wow. Uh, Thousand Ice Restrict is another one. Yeah. If Thousand Ice Restrict targets this. I roll a dice if it's two or five. You guys get the idea. It's also a Fiend monster, and so it pairs off really well with the. That this. is insane. So yeah. this is the Fiend package for now? This is the Fiend package. So right. I am on Chaos Control because Chaos Control is really like like the tr traditional build. Yeah. Of Chaos Control doesn't have any mid range monster. This is a mid range monster. So you just summon it, and then you just proc all the trap cards. Nice. Uh, and then the chaos control part is three dark dragon, two Zaborg. Oh, um, and the main? Yeah, I like I like Zaborg. Uh, I was main decking Dark Ruler Hades. Yeah. But Zaborg is better in, across most matchups, and it's also a light monster. So they destroy my uh, giant germ, and I get two more giant germs. I now have fodders that I could um, tribute for Zaborg. Oh um, wow! The reason why Chaos Turbo is good in uh, go format. Yeah. Is because. Uh, they use spies to like thin out the deck, but I think giant germs better at thinning out the deck than spies. So when one goes, two two gets out. Yeah. And with spy, you only take out one card. Yeah. So that's why I play the giant germ over the. I don't play the spy at all. That's sick. What the hell? Yeah. And so, then you just have the the tribute to destroy the, like yeah. tra uh, set face downs. And yes. This actually won me a game. Wow. So it's kind of like the Caius of. Uh, of I'll go uh, for go it. For yeah. yeah. So, but it only destroys monsters. Yeah. To pair off the other lights, I do play the, the, two, the two moths. Uh, you have to play this because you are playing Metamorphosis. It is Chaos Control. Yeah. So being able to resolve this multiple times with like Metamorphosis, Pot of Greed, Duo, you have to play Moth. Nice. The idea in Goat is that every monster replaces itself. So if you have a monster that gets attacked, it, it replaces itself. So you never really lose card advantage. Uh, the only time you lose card advantage is if you have this mm -hmm. and you're unable to negate and destroy by chance. Yeah. So, I don't play the Infernal, uh, the Terror King Archfiend because yeah. that's a bad card. Because you need to have an Archfiend and uh, face up to normal summon him, and I don't like that. So I, I play the ones that don't need require require you to do that. Nice. The one of is you know the traditional breaker, the go format the Tings. Yeah, and then ELS, uh, and then Sinister. Best card in, in go format. Uh, very underrated. I mean, it's I don't think it's underrated. It's really good. It's, you it's need to rated. Have this I think it's rated. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely sick. rated. Yeah. yeah. So you need to play Sinister, so uh, I always search Sinister off of Sangan. Mm -hmm. If I already have Sinister, then I, I can search for one of these guys. Oh, that's insane. You can search this, yes. you can search this, yes. you can search this. You search for everything. That's sick. Anything that you need. Two Chaos Sorcerer, because you are playing Chaos Control, so you'll need to play the Chaos Sorcerer. Nice. Uh, I only play two scapegoats, so you'll need that for the uh, Metamorphosis. So if you can uh, sacrifice the... 
yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can sacrifice the goat, then you can just uh, bring out Thousand Eyes Restrict. Yeah. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict is a dark monster, so it pairs off for your Chaos uh, Nice. Uh, I don't play Sukuyomi in this deck, in the main deck, because I can just chip it over my monsters with these. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to play Sukuyomi. Uh, I do side deck it, so only one though. Nice. It's searchable by Sangya. So I mean, the other spells, MST, Heavy Storm, Tunok, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then the Trinity. So, uh, the Trinity is actually also Thunder Trinity. So if you can, it's actually, I don't know what, what it means by four, quadru Quadrinity. Quadrinity. <laughs> there's a Quadrinity, which is Thunder Dragon. So if you're able to get Thunder Dragon, Heart of Greed, Graceful, uh, Graceful well. that's, that's yeah. your Quadrinity. Oh, well, so, you're not coming back if you, if you see that. Yeah. Your well, opponent is... You, you might. <laughs> I play the two Dust Sheet because I, this is card is really good against Turbo, but mm. bad against Warriors, so I'll side this out against Warriors. Yeah. Uh, one jar so that I can set two safely and then activate jar for heavy storm play. But nobody does that anymore. So I never got heavy storm when I had two. So. Damn, people are scared, huh? No, people know about jar, so they just don't do it anymore. Wow. Uh, one main force, one ring, one, one charge. That's the go so format, the main Saki. That's side the main deck. deck. Side deck, it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, you just play this. This is for uh, any deck that plays flip effects. So if you can take, take him off yeah. and flip it, you can just get oh, the mind godly, that. godly. Yeah. Uh, this is for warriors uh, or any deck that just plays like uh, 1900 beaters mm. or more. I, I side I side these in if uh, yeah in time too as well. Yeah. Uh, someone tried to uh, avenge Air Knight Parshat me in time. Yeah. And I just sakuud and I won because I had the higher life Ooh. points because they activated the link with Duel. That's messed up. Yeah. I had the uh, two decree. I never cited this once. I said it did dust tornado. Dust once, tornado is so good. But it's just mainly for burn. I was afraid to burn the whole uh, tournament. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I just. These are my burn anti-burn cards. That's here. wombat. Let's go. Yeah. No walks. No walks. No, no We're, walks. I should play it. Do you uh, not like it? I've never tried it. Oh. Uh, I had it in my side deck. I was like, why do I use this for? Uh, it's a neck one. Yeah, it is. Part. It is. But uh, to pair off against uh, warriors, I decided the zombie orc. Yeah. It can just beat over big monsters. And uh, so Holy this was a, shit. This was originally um, in the spot for Zabor. Yeah. But in uh, in practice, I found out this was lackluster. But I do side this in when I play, uh, face off against decks that uh, use flip effects a lot. Mm. So this makes it so that when I do attack a flip effect monster, it just never it's resolves. Negated, yeah. it, it stops DD Assailant, DD Warrior Lady, uh, anything that... It, it's basically a bolter on wheels. However, a lot of people don't know this, but he makes it so that all fiend monsters that destroy monster by battle don't resolve. So she's a fiend monster, uh, Giant Germ's a fiend monster. Oh, wow. So what I'll do is I'll summon these monsters and I'll attack into a face down. And then now they have to respond to these fiends uh, because he's the one that's negating uh, the monster that would destroy Oh, that's very smart, yeah. So uh, you guys kind of get the idea. Yeah. So if I attack over a moth with this, and while this is out, yeah. then moth gets negated because fire, it's a monster. Fire, fire. So that's the idea of Dark Ruler. Uh, I wanted to try, try to copy, like, uh, Caius, the Shadow Monarch, and so he was kind of the closest thing yeah. uh, next to the board. Yeah. Um, these are the Walmart Caiuses right here. <laughs> this is the Go Format Caius. Yeah. The original Caius, yeah. Yeah, I would say. So that's uh, my side deck, extra deck. It probably doesn't matter too much, but uh, I, in this tournament, you have to have 15 cards in your extra deck. Uh, really? So you can't make unlimited. Oh. Yeah. So uh, I actually really like this guy uh, because if he does battle damage, it's really good against Chaos Turbo, where you can just banish all of their um, dark or light monsters. Wow. Yeah, all of their Ooh. dark or light monsters, so they can't drop BLS on that. Nice. Uh, I actually went for game because of this, because my Sangan was a dark, and I meted this, and then I special the. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I special the BLS and I won. Nice. Uh, sevens. Uh, I never make sevens, but. Oh, this guy's evil, bro. I never make it. Uh, the most important ones. Uh, I never made this one either, or this one. The most important ones is Bolter, because oh, he. Oh, Bolter is crazy. He can run over um, the deck monsters and then negate spells. Get spells, yeah. Uh, he's actually important. Um. So if you're if your your opponent's on top deck mode, you want to be able to attack with Thunder, Thunder Dragon first. Yeah. And then you go meta into this in defense mode, so that if they top deck into a uh, BLS, they can't kill this guy without using the effect to banish it. So this is really useful for that uh, top deck BLS. Nice. Because if you had only this and no Vulture, yeah. BLS kills you through like four thousand damage. Nice. But this one, they have to use the effect of to banish. So you need to use you need to have this in your extra. Uh, the most important is obviously this one. Ooh. You need this one because you play Metamorphosis and you play the control game. So this is off. This is a plus one every turn if you could like uh, Tsukuyomi set it and then flip it again and then do it again. Yeah. Uh, judge actually, the head judge ruled this wrong, but if you target a token with this, it goes poof. It doesn't get equipped in. 
So the head judge ruled it wrong. Uh, I don't know who the head judge was, but yeah. uh, that's not how it works. So if you target a, a, tar a token with this, uh, the token does not get equipped in. It is. And someone ruled, the, the head judge ruled against me uh, saying it has to be equipped in, which is That's not true. insane. I, I even looked up on Pojo and I have my sources and everything. I'm not sure why they didn't yeah. look. But yeah. That's my deck profile for you guys. My nice. matchups throughout the whole day was uh, uh, after the seven rounds, I played five Chaos Turbos yeah. uh, and two Warriors. So that was my, my matchup spread. Um, the only ones I lost against was um, a Chaos Turbo, but it played a really weird version of it. Oh, it played like wonky version, huh? Wonky. It played yeah. wonky version. So, uh, and then my other loss was to uh, Reasoning Gate. Sorry, Reasoning Gate was my seventh one. Okay. So I lost to Reasoning Gate. Uh, I actually played a guy from PBG, George Machado. Uh, he, Shout out to him. He actually made a really good Reasoning Gate. Uh, it's not even. I wouldn't even call it Turbo, because uh, it's grindy. So. Uh, I should probably find him and then give you guys a deck profile for that guy. Let's go. But yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was my my run with uh, Goat. I'm not normally a Goat player, but I've been playing uh, two games of Goat every day. Oh. So that's how I was able to make this deck. Nice. Uh, but I had a 35% win rate uh, when I first started because I was like, I don't know how to play Goats. And then after I got uh, a couple of beating, beating in, you toughened I, up. I, I increased my win rate to 70%. Nice. So I was able to climb ladder and actually do well against big players. Nice. But yeah, that's my, my deck list. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, make sure to sub. Don't forget to sub. Peace out, guys. Let's go. And